breaking news. Simon Ipa, the self-proclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, has issued a stair warning to the Nigerian government regarding the construction of military bases and police barracks in the southeast region. Ipa's declaration comes in the wake of the heightened tension and the recent military operations targeting the indigenous people of Biafra and its armed wing, the Eastern Security Network, ESN. Although the Nigeria's army's recent clearance operation in the community of Arochuku local government area in Abia State resulted in the dismantling of IPOB and ESN training camps, and during this raid, significant amounts of weapons and ammunition were seized and the key ESN commander's hideouts were targeted, leading to a substantial intelligence gain for the military. And in response to these military's actions, Simon Ipa took to social media to announce a ban on any further construction of military bases and police barracks in the southeast, referring to these establishments as potential kidnapping bays and even urged local residents to avoid this site. He specifically called out to the Abia State Governor, Governor Alex Oti, to halt any ongoing construction projects related to military or police infrastructure in the region. And he made this known on his Twitter, where he noted that the Biafra government has from henceforth banned the establishment of any Nigerian military base, including those of the Nigerian Army, the Nigerian Force, and the Nigerian Police Force and the Air Force within Biafra territory from now on. Governor Alex Oti was urged by Simon Ipa to halt any ongoing or future construction of an Air Force base immediately, and Biafrans in Abia have been advised to avoid this construction site. And any effort to construct, which is perceived as a kidnapping base in Biafra land, will be met with full resistance, according to Simon Ipa. And you see, this statement from Simon Ipa underscores the escalating conflict between Nigerian security agencies and the separatist movement in the southeast Nigeria. And that region has been a hot spot for violence and unrest, you know, attributing to the activities of IPOBs and other members. And Simon Ipa, who operates from Finland, well, yes, have been a vocal advocate for the Biafran independence and has been accused by the Nigerian government of inciting violence, of causing unrest through his directives and his sit-at-home orders in the region. Although the Nigerian military has consistently accused IPOB and ESN of perpetrating terrorism and violence against both civilians and security personnel in the southeast region, and these armies' uh, recent operations are part of a broader strategy to quell these activities and to restore order in the region. However, Simon Ipa's statement and actions continues to pose significant challenges to these efforts as his influence among separatist sympathizers remains strong. This borders implications of Ipa's ban on military constructions are significant. Now, this highlights the persistent tensions between this separatist group and the Nigerian government and the difficulties in implementing security measures in the region. The Nigerian government has been urged to pursue diplomatic solutions, including potential extradition proceedings against Simeon Ipa to mitigate the influence of the separatist leader operating from abroad, whereby uh, the general of uh, defense staff general christopher mosa had made a strong allegation against simon ipa who lives in finland also alleging that the finland government are supporting uh, simon ipa who identifies himself as the prime minister of biafra republic in exile and it is said that uh, he has been involved in various criminal activities in the southeast region. And General Christopher Musa's statements have really stirred 
significant controversy, raising questions about international diplomacy and the fight against terrorism in Nigeria. And this accusation, you know, came with full force as General Musa did not waste any time in mercing his words during his appearance on Channel TV, where he accused the Finland of shielding Simon Ipa, who has been a vocal advocate for the independence of Biafra, a movement that has historical roots in Nigeria. And he complained on the issues of Simon Ipa that the Finnish government are giving him all the support. That is why he is doing what he is doing. Although General Musa had expressed his frustration that the EU are not even helping matters in this issue. So this Simon Ipa's activities has been a thorn in Nigeria's side for quite some time as Simon Ipa has been accused of inciting violence or fostering unrest in the southeast. And it is being said that people are being killed yet nothing has been done about this. Even the sit at home orders being given in the Southeast region is attributed to, you know, Simon Epar's advocating for Biafra independence. And guys, the advocates or, or, or the cause for Biafra independence has become a solution in Nigeria that the Nigerian government is yet to find a tangible solution to this. Although, uh, General Musa, who urged the Nigerian government recently to take decisive actions against Simon Ipa, has suggested that diplomatic channels should be explored to address the issues whereby they would have to reach with the Finland government and bring him back to Nigeria so that he would be arrested and, you know, better still prosecuted. So he made calls for diplomatic intervention. And this really underscores the complexities of international law and sovereignty of nation. This Finland's alleged support for Simon Ipa, you know, complicates dynamics, posing a challenge for the Nigerian authorities who seeks to bring a Simon Ipa to justice. And now, even the EU, they had called out the EU that they, that's the European Union, that they have a role to play in this, that uh, this is a question of democracy. If the European Union is indeed supporting democracy, that this will not be happening. So guys, General Musa's comments had really highlighted, you know, some growing sentiments in Nigeria that some international bodies are not doing enough to support uh, Nigeria's fight against insurgency, Nigeria's fight against terrorism and all of that. And you know that this Biafra issue is not a new issue. This Biafra secessionist movement has been long in Nigeria, even before we gain our independence. But you see, this fight is not a today's fight. And uh, Simon Ipa, who claims to be the prime minister of this fight, and uh, Mazin Amdikano, who remains the IPOB leader, who is currently in the DSS custody yet, has been, you know, he all the charges laid against him was cleared but the Nigerian government has refused to let him go. Simon Ipa made a statement that if he should be released, that every insecurity going on in the Southeast region would be cleared automatically just within 24 hours. Even this Simon Ipa that is in Finland, you know, trying to uh, cause some mayhems here and there, that he would definitely, you know, do with deal with those issues. So my country people, I don't know, you know, where all this would lead us to, but Simon Simon Ipa has made a shocking statement regarding the ban of construction of military base in Abia after soldiers uh, killers were arrested in Abia state. Guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.